it's Maricela. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Hey, today is Monday, May the 7th, 2018. That makes day 21 of my journey. I should probably say that from now on, <laughs> of my Juice Fest journey. And I didn't do a video yesterday. I did one the day before, but I, I'm thinking I'm not going to post. I'm just going to post this one as my update for the couple of days. Oh, oh my hair is kind of wild. Really? It's recently washed, so it acts kind of funky when it's just been washed. Today being Monday, May 7th, I first have to give a shout out to one of my best friends from a long time ago. His name is Dominique Hermes. Happy birthday, Dominique. How old are you now? Like 55? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. It's not 55. I, I'm doing well. I have having my green. I have my green juice already this morning, 32 ounces. And, but I do need to talk about yesterday, Sunday. So you know, every day I've been kind of wanting something to eat. You know, I've wanted to eat. So yesterday I finally decided I will eat something, but not that I was going to break my fast. I didn't think, oh, I'm going to break my fast right now and start eating, um, you know, food. But I really just wanted to eat something, so my husband decided he wanted to order pizza. And I said, well, if you get pizza, get the garlic crust from Domino's, because I would like garlic crust. And he got one 20-ounce bottle of Coca-Cola, and we would share it. Now, this is the first food I've had, and I'm not breaking my fast correctly. Not the right way. I'm doing it just a horrible way to break a fast, right? This is last night, so, okay, the 20th day. So I have, I end up having two pieces of pizza and I had this little, like he bought this little like chicken type bruschetta thing and I had a little bit of that too. And, and I had half a soda or almost half a soda. First, let's talk about the Coca-Cola because I sipped that first thing off when my hus husband handed it to me. It did not taste like Coca-Cola. Let's say that first. Okay, it hit my, my mouth and I immediately felt the carbonation. I could feel it throughout my mouth and going down my throat. I was like, wow, it feels like it's over carbonated. And then the taste itself, it tasted like cola, but it tasted like a super no-name brand. Just, just cola. It didn't taste like Coca-Cola. And I asked him, I said, does it taste right to you? And he said, yeah, it tastes like Coca-Cola. I said, oh, wow. I didn't have any ice in it or anything. Just straight out of a cold bottle. We put mine in a cup, straight out of a cold bottle, and that's how it tasted to me. Next was the pizza. Okay, so I took a bite of pizza, and I'm starting to chew it. It's like the flavors are just overflowing all of my mouth and my throat, and I'm starting to cough and choke a little. I don't know if you ever had something that the flavor was just, the, the spices were just so strong for your throat that it just made your throat kind of like hitch. Okay, <clears throat> that's what happened to me. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> it was just a lot. But I wanted to eat it and it was delicious. I'm not saying it wasn't good. It didn't taste quite like I remembered, but the garlic was good and I do like garlic, but it was so overpowering that it did that to me a couple of times. Okay, so I'm done eating. I finished my pizza and everything. And before I could even get through the second slice, I was already filling up. I had drank, before the pizza arrived, I had drank half or almost, no, maybe more than half of a uh, 32 ounce beet juice, beet and carrot juice. Because I was like, well, I'm going to eat this first because I want to know, I want to be um, full, you know, when I, when I eat my actual food. So let's talk about what happened after. After I had I ate the food, my I started getting like feelings here. I started feeling a little bit of pain, okay, in my chest area, and my chest got really my chest got tight. I got like a little bit of tightness across the chest. I um, my jaw started to hurt, okay, a little bit, and my mouth started filling out with saliva after a few minutes. Now, this is completely after I'd finished. I'd completely finished. So, it's been over 20 minutes I started eating, right? And my mouth started filling out with saliva. Like, it was going to make me, my stomach was going to make me puke. Then okay. my face flushed, and it felt so hot and so warm to the touch, and I just got hot. I decided to get up and go to the bathroom because I did have the saliva coming up, and I guessed I was probably going to throw up. 
and I spit up a little bit, just saliva and stuff into the toilet, and then I breathed over the sink, and it subsided. So I no longer needed to have the feeling that I had to throw up or anything, so that was okay. Um, so far, it's been, it's been 12 hours since I ate. Um, I haven't had to go to the restroom yet. I'm sure I will need to go to the restroom, but I feel okay so far, and I'm right back on my juicing. So I am still considering this day 21 because I know all of that, whatever I just had, is going to come right out. We are considering having me eat on the weekends, but after this, I'm not really sure that I necessarily want to do that. I did not like the feelings that I had, and they reminded me of when I'm normally eating and and there's a problem and I have to go forcibly throw up. So I'm thinking, well, you know, um, it might be better just to kind of let it keep going and let the body recuperate as much as possible. It, it is difficult, okay? I'm not going to lie because I, I do want to eat food, but the food itself isn't really satiating me, right? When I tried it, I was like, eh. I, I felt like I wanted to eat more because I still wasn't satiated here. Okay, so I'm sure I was I was satiated in my stomach, but I wasn't satiated here. So I know it's still it's a psychological issue. Okay, that's one reason I want to move to a whole foods diet when I'm completely done with this. And we did think about options for the pizza, like getting other types of stuff on it. But at this point, I said, well, we're just going to get a pizza you like because I only plan on having a, one or two slices. So that's what we did. But in the future, I definitely will probably be considering that instead of getting some pizza like that. And I know I've bought cauliflower pizza before, too. I really do like them. Uh, so, you know, I might just stick with stuff like that. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to get rid of cheese in my life. I may eat more vegan cheese than I do regular cheese, but I just don't know at this point. Okay, so that was yesterday and everything that happened, so I did want to cover that. Uh, so again, today is day 21 with our little hiccup on day 20. Okay, and but I'm still, since I'm still going strong with the juicing, I'm not going to say that it's not day 21. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to cover some measurements. My husband and I did measurements today. I think it may be too soon to do measurements, especially since I'm not actually working out or anything right now. Um, but we did do my thigh because we didn't do my thigh before and I didn't have my daughter do it. So today we did the thigh. The thigh is measured at 33.5, 33.5. Um, my bicep stayed the same. My neck, my husband said, was only 15.2. So I don't know if that was a problem with the measuring tape when my daughter tried to measure my neck. I'm not sure. My bust stayed the same. My waist, I mean, it says it went up so by an inch, so I'm not sure. My calf went down half an inch to 22 and a half. Now I may have done my hips wrong before because it was just me and my daughter trying to do it because I had put my hips at like 85, so maybe they were at 80 or less because my husband just measured it and it was 75 and a half. Still huge, but I mean, that's, that seems like a big difference, so I'm not sure if it's quite right. I also, I went ahead and bought tickets to my daughter's performance. She's doing her recital. June the 8th and I'm kind of excited because I've been in those I've been to that that theater I went this year early this year was it this year I think it was this year or just just before this year started maybe it was in December I went and I took my daughters to go see an Alice in Wonderland production there and I fit in the seats then but it was not a, a seat that you'd want to get up and get up get up and get down get up and get down so this time I bought seats near the front again um, but I'm going to be on the end because I'm going to be the one that has to get up and go help her change and stuff uh, between numbers. And so I'm looking forward to seeing if there's any difference when I actually go to sit in those seats. Uh, if it's going to be more comfortable than last time. I know that uh, even if I were working out every day, the last thing for me, the last place I lose weight is my thighs and my hips. So <laughs> it could be a long time before I see any difference in those. <sighs> But again, I'm not doing this to lose weight. I'm hoping that is going to be the side effect from doing the juicing. But the main reason I'm doing it is because I want to lose all of the, you know, or reverse all of these symptoms that I've got. Okay. 
Uh, today we also, my husband and I worked together to do some Avon stuff for my business. Ooh. Oh yeah, this was the Avon book from the last campaign, Avon campaign 10. I've got campaign 11 just came in today, so I'm going to be sharing that with everybody. Okay, well I better go and get a move on. I've got things I need to finish today because Monday is just a busy, busy day. I plan on doing some painting, but if my husband stays home the whole day, I might not. I might just do it tomorrow. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Please give my video a thumbs up if you enjoyed checking in with me. And go ahead and subscribe to follow along with my journey. Have a great day.